Unboxings. Reviews. Hello YouTube, Colton from that iPhone Guy 11 here today. And here we're going to be reviewing the Hype Slice Bluetooth speaker for iPhone, iPod, and iPad. Uh, if you can't see on the box there, this is a Bluetooth compact speaker. Um, and this, I got the white version. They also sell this in black. Um, and I will leave the prices, not the prices, but links in the description. So let's go ahead and get to opening this. It's just a slider style box. And uh, here you're greeted with the uh, box that opens up like your traditional packing for Apple. And I did not put this back in right. I know there's a different way. But you will get your micro USB cable, I believe, for... This is for charging the device. And here is the speaker itself that sits in here. And then under here you will get your instruction manual. Uh, just some general features of this device before we get into the Bluetooth pairing um, mode it is uh, it has a built-in microphone up here which is decent quality uh, for taking phone calls um, as well it also has a two hour charge time so it's not that uh, long of a charge time a four ba hour battery life on that two hour charge so pretty good and um, in the corner it also shows your Bluetooth static status which I'll show you in a minute of the device itself uh, once I turn it on here you'll see that um, there is some cool LED colors inside of this button right here uh, which you will see throughout the video Bluetooth pairing is pretty easy with the device I uh, just unlock my iPhone here and I opened up the Bluetooth okay to put the phone in blue to put in Bluetooth I normally turn off my Bluetooth you only have to do this once to say that uh, you hold it down that second beep not the first uh, the first sound is um, the first sound is just to let you know that it, the speaker is turned on and the second one is the Bluetooth pairing so um, this should pop up there it is it is not paired and it is connecting to the device can you see the cool colors and it is now connected to the device and up in the corner on my iPhone you can see the battery percentage of the speaker itself so um, the volume controls are through the actual iPhone itself and um, I will go ahead and record a voice memo for y'all and show you where it's like So here I am testing the Bluetooth speaker. Um, I can't play music just due to copyright issues. Um, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, with music, it doesn't get very, very loud. But it, um, it's good enough for indoor use, you know, watching YouTube videos, playing music in the house. It's pretty good for that. So I'll go ahead and go back to the video of me talking. Another feature is voice control or Siri. It depends on what you have, the 4S or 4 or iPhone 5 or iPad mini um, so anyways what you do to activate that is you just press down on here let me try that again and that little beep means voice control is activated I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that um, so we'll use the mic up here for the speaker if you were to call someone or just tell it to uh, skip to the next track. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you just the lights on it because I think it's. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk now about disadvantages of the Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay. So, uh, first of all, is it uses up your battery life on your iPhone uh, or iPad. It uses it uses up uh, quite a bit, so you're going to want a full charge on your iP iPhone. Or just uh, plug it into the wall while you're using the device. 
Um, another disadvantage of just this speaker is um, it's not very loud. The sound quality is still good. It's just it's not really loud enough for me um, for outside use, which I would like to eat where I uh, tend to use it most. Um, it's fine if I'm by myself, but if I'm with friends, then um, then it's not really loud enough. Overall, though, uh, I think this is a great speaker. Um, uh, it is a little bit pricey. It's around twenty five. It's about twenty five dollars. Depends on where you get it. Twenty five to forty dollars um, is where I have seen the price on this thing for two different color options: black and white. Um, I'll try to find the links to both of those. If I cannot find it, then I'll just put it down there in the description for you. So, uh, thank you for watching, and make sure to go like me on Facebook to stay updated. Uh, once I start getting more likes on that, then I will start posting more stuff. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.